Okay, hello again YouTube. Um, this is a really quick video for the PC this time. Um, basically what we're going to be doing is showing you how to get as much performance out of your graphics card as possible. Um, for anyone with a desktop PC, this is much, much safer. For people with a laptop, this is slightly more dangerous, so I don't know if you'd want to think twice about doing this. If you do want to try it, I advise you do it in really, really, really slow you know really build it up don't do a, a massive leap in one go what I'm going to show you how to do is overclock your graphics processor so the program you're going to need is called EVGA Precision and I will put a download link to this in the um, notes to the side the more information section so and um, this is the full version most of the versions you'll find on the net will be trials I'll make sure you get the full one just you know you don't want it running out but yeah the first thing to do, it's completely safe, just double click it and install and then on your desktop you'll get this little application so run that and you'll see this and initially it will give you all your temperatures and they should hopefully all be down really quite low like about 40 or something but as a general rule anything below 70 is safe anything above 70 in your temperature is dangerous so remember, this is the only one that's temperature, the rest is speed, okay? So what you need to do is take it where that will be at as a standard, which should be right at the very bottom, drag it up just a little bit, click test, and if everything goes well, click apply, and then see what temperature you get. You know, make sure you max out your fan, turn off the auto and drag up to full, because that'll help you to cool it. And basically keep doing this and doing this and doing this until you get as close to 70 as you dare. 69 for me is <laughs> as much as I need. And I've overclocked this from 400 to 700, but that just shows the amount of power you can actually get out of a processor with that the manufacturers don't let you get to. But yeah, in doing this, I've managed to get um, up from uh, a 5.2 to a 5.7 in the Vista rating scale. Um, it's just really really helpful it makes an awful lot of difference particularly in your boot time if you use aero it does affect it and I can guarantee that it's really really good so what you do you keep doing this until you get your settings to below 70 any more than that is dangerous so, so you know if you have better cooling in your system maybe you can handle it but if you're air cooled don't go higher than 70 and then what you want to do is click apply at startup put it on profile number one and you can click the lock what you can do is you can actually create two profiles if you want where you drag everything down to naught where if you're on a laptop that can be your power saving mode um, where everything's you know basically running on the minimum it possible needs and then save that as number two and you can just run that if you wanted to it's just a, another thought yeah it will just run in your system tray quite happily there and you can actually set it to tell you the temperature at all times um, if you want to that's entirely up to you so yeah, um, give it a go. Let me know your results. Yeah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, and give me a comment or five stars, whatever you want. But yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye.